International GT Open Championship arrives in the stunning Austrian hills for rounds five and six of the 2020 championship. It's been a thrilling campaign already with three different winners from the first four races. Will we see some new faces on the top step of the podium this weekend or will some of the championship favorites continue to score good points? Let's find out what happens over the two races this weekend. Then at some of the highlights of round number five of the International GT Open that started with the number 16 Teo Martin Motorsport McLaren of Fran Rueda on the pole position. He turned into turn number one whilst it was side by side behind and it was Stefan Rossina in the KTM that got himself ahead of Louis Pret in the Ferrari to take second place out of turn number one. The battle early on was between Stefan Ortelli and Miguel Ramos with the latter um, trying desperately to find a way past the Ferrari. They made contact on more than one occasion, but the two were laughing about it in the pit lane afterwards. No hard feelings, clearly. It was a slightly troubling first part of the race for the TF Sport Aston Martin of Sally Yollock that just couldn't make the same sort of progress that their championship rivals were in the early stages of the race. And then the race was rather turned on its head by this contact with Nicky Lutweiler getting elbowed into the gravel trap uh, by Patrick Krapinski's Mercedes. The safety car came out not long before the pit lane window opened and uh, several cars had to serve uh, handicap penalties. Once the pit stops were done, the KTM came out right behind the 16 McLaren and was pretty quickly able to find its way through whilst it was the other Teo Martin McLaren that was making all of the progress. The 59 car started down in ninth place, but Enrique Chavez was able to work his way, first of all, past Callum McLeod, then past his teammate Marcello Han to finish in third. It was a historic victory, though, for the KTM Crossbow GTX concept, and Patrick Niederhauser and Stefan and Racina were victorious at the Red Bull Ring in race number one of the weekend with Enrique Chavez uh, in the 59 car for the second and Marcello Han making it two Teo Martin Motorsport McLarens on the podium. Take a look then at the highlights of an extraordinary sixth round of the championship. It was the TF Sport car that started on pole position and it was Charlie Eastwood who took over the first step for the battle between he and uh, the Enrique Chavez uh, McLaren in the first part of the race was very entertaining. Chavez went through it the first quarter but ran wide into the runoff area in the process. He would later be ordered to give that position back. There was some contact there between the JP Motorsport Mercedes and the number 17 Ferrari which allowed Joe Osborne up the inside but he got a big squeeze uh, by the 88 of Christian Clear and had to back out of the move. There was contact made as Alexei Nesson muscled his way up the order ahead of Marcello Han in the McLaren and Nesov would find himself in the AM-class lead before much longer. The battle out in front was very tight indeed. Eastwood would not let Enrique Chavez through without a fight. The McLaren trying every which way to find a way through. It did eventually go ahead and pulled clear by about seven seconds or so before the pit stops began. After the pit stops, it was the Pro-Am battle that was providing all of the entertainment and eventually it went wrong with Ollie Milroy and Sam Dehan making contact. Milroy spun with damage suspension and then at the very next corner, Dahan was tagged into a spin by Fran Rueda, that incident being investigated after the race. The safety car was called for, we had a one lap restart and immediately Louis Preck went on the attack, got on the inside of Patrick Grabinski for second place and worked his way through into second with less than a lap to go. That didn't leave him though with enough time to close in on the race leader, so it was Sally Yollock that brought it home, the TF Sports second victory of the year, Louis Preck second. And Patrick Krapinski brought the JP Motorsport car back for its second podium finish of the year in third place. Obviously we didn't have any penalty from the first round so um, we were able to have quite a clean race. Like normal it, it's never easy until it's over and obviously the safety car came out but a great restart by Sally and he got a gap to be nice and comfortable on the last lap. Yeah, a safety car, but that didn't change much, sorry. Uh, no, it was only one lap, really, so uh, it, was, it wasn't supposed to change much. But uh, yeah, it was still unlucky to come that late in the race. But yeah, Charlie did a great job, give me a, give me a good, uh, good gap to manage. And yeah, it was similar to Ricard, I just had to manage. 